Welcome to a free mini tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In this lesson, we're going to learn about aggregate queries. What is an aggregate query? Well, if you want to add up all of the orders for a particular customer, you'd use an aggregate query. It's like taking a sum of a field. For example, here's a basic service call table. I've got a service call ID, which is an auto number, a customer ID, which relates back to my customer table to tell me what customer this is, a service date, a description, and a service charge. Now, I'd like to run a query to find out exactly how much I've charged each of my customers and sum them up. For example, here's customer one. I want to be able to see the total here. Okay, here's customer three and another one from customer three. And I, I'd like to know who my biggest customers are. And we can do that with an aggregate query. So I'll go to my database window and go to queries and then new. I'll pick design view and hit OK. I need my service call and my customer tables because I'd like to see the customer name too. So I'll bring in customer T and then I'll also bring in service call T. And you should see these tables are related. Now I cover basic query design in Access 101 and I cover related relational query design in Access 201. So if this seems unfamiliar to you, check out those tutorials first. Now, I'd like to see the customer's first name and last name, and I'd like to see the service charge totals over here. Now, if I run the query right now, I see each record, right? Joe Smith, Joe Smith, there's theirs, right? Sally Wilson's, there's hers, and it's straight out of the service call table, right? Okay, what I want to do now is sum these up. I want to group by Joe Smith and sum up the service charges. So instead of seeing two for Joe Smith, I see one record for Joe Smith. Let's go back to design view. Now right up here on the toolbar, you'll see this little button. It looks like a little E, that's the Greek letter sigma. And if you hold your mouse over it, it says totals. Click on that button and you'll see a total row pop up right here. Well, here's exactly what I want to do. I want to group by first name and last name, so they're all together. And I want to take the sum of my service charge. So let's drop this down and find sum. There's a whole bunch of other functions in here. You can find the average, the max, the min, the standard deviation, the count. And I cover lots of these in my full tutorials. But for right now, we just want sum. Right? Add up the service charges and then run the query. And there you go. Now it changed the name of the field to sum of service charge, but that's fine. Now you can see there, Joe Smith, $180. And if you look on here, Joe Smith is customer one. So right there, that looks about right, $180. Access added them up for me. And that is all that an aggregate query really is. It's adding up the values in your query. Of course, I've only scratched the surface. I cover lots more about aggregate queries and all those different functions in my full tutorials. If you want to learn more about aggregate queries and lots more stuff, come to my website, accesslearningzone.com, question mark, GOAC221 is the direct link to my Access 221 class. That's the class that I cover aggregate queries and lots more in. And of course, don't forget to check out the tips and tricks section at accesslearningzone.com slash tips, where you can find lots more free tutorials, sample database files, and other lessons, free tutorials just like this one.